Progressive lawyering is about making sure that the legal rights that we have are fully realized. What can we do through the legal system to ensure that people can live full, fulfilling lives and that people can have every opportunity available to really contribute to our society and you know, to build a life for themselves and for their families? I'm T.T. Leo, Executive Director of the Asian Law Caucus. So the Asian Law Caucus is really about connecting with individual clients that need our services because they're recent low-income immigrants, and then through the direct legal services, understanding what challenges they face and how we can address those challenges through legal and policy change. You really need somebody who appreciates on a very deep level the struggles of the community and really wants to use a community-based lowering approach. So one where they are engaging with clients where they're at and elevating the voices of their clients so that the, the particular challenges that the client faces can feed into a broader policy discussion and, and, and then some real results, not just for the client, but for other people who are in the same situation. There's also been you know, a very deep appreciation that in the post 9-11 context, context, there are real limitations to the civil rights framework. We have this intergenerational community of activists who've been working on all of the key issues that impact Asians and Pacific Islanders and other communities of color dating all the way back to 1972. It's an incredible network of people. I think it's also an interesting example because it's one that really addresses this issue of U.S. exceptionalism head on. Because um, I think embedded in U.S. exceptionalism is usually some misguided notion, you know, not that we're just different, period, but that our laws are actually more progressive, that we actually have more robust protections for individual rights than other countries. And so when judges are presented with overwhelming evidence to the contrary, um, that can actually be a very powerful argument. We have clients that um, are you know, terrified of coming forward, right, and speaking with um, immigration officials about some particular issue that's coming up with their case. And we need to understand, you know, that there's a real chilling effect that's been created by their interactions with tyrannical governments in their home country. So understanding where people are coming from is really important. All of the communities that we work with are communities that mainstream Americans still think of as being perpetually foreign. And so when that happens, we need to be extremely vigilant about protecting people's civil rights and civil liberties. So the Asian Law Caucus is about bringing these different communities together that maybe didn't understand each other before and didn't understand what they have at stake in common with one another and building bridges and building alliances that can be durable. I spent most of my life working overseas, and I've seen some of the tremendous work that Levi Strauss Foundation has done, specifically supporting worker rights in China. It was a foundation that I had a lot of respect for when I was also a funder working on workers' rights issues in China. And so to be able to partner with them right here in San Francisco in our own backyard is particularly exciting and inspiring. The foundation really has a vision around social media and how we can use social media to transform our communities. We've been working on um, building a blog where activists can come together and talk about different issues. We've been revamping our website. We've been trying to reach a much broader community through social media. And so that vision is so much aligned with the vision of the Levi Strauss Foundation. What really sets us apart is that we have a laser sharp focus on the most low income members of our community. So we're really about people who have recently come to the US who are facing very significant challenges and who are low income. And how can we elevate their voices? Litigation does provide a frame for storytelling because you've got you know, people trying to battle it out over you know, who's right, who's wrong, um, who has the law on their side. And it can be a very compelling story. And often it's the story of the litigation and not the litigation itself that's really going to change hearts and minds and have a lasting impact.